Hello, Fairmount School. This is Dr. Galliana here with your Thursday morning announcements. Just wanted to touch upon uh, the great news um, Mrs. Ashton Loeb gave, you, gave us yesterday about the Fairmount Parade. It will be on Saturday, beginning at 12.30. The exact route we will be giving out later this week. Please come out and say hi to us. Wave to us, Mrs. Ashton Loeb, myself, and the teachers will be happy to see everyone. Um, and so excited. We miss you all. We wish, wish we were still back at school. Uh, unfortunately, we're not, um, but we do have some excitement coming along. Um, remember to keep your social distance from your neighbors. You can come out and wave, uh, but please don't get together as that is against the rules. Um, second announcement is that we will, we are experiencing some students not attending their specials for the day. Um, we know it's the first week, so it's a little confusing. So here is the schedule once again. Please, students, make sure that each day you visit the special listed here, not the, necessarily the special you had when we were in school. Um, so tomorrow's Thursday, so physical education. Please visit Mr. Biz Bennett's um, Google Classroom and do the assignment as you are supposed to do. Um, two more things. We, I will have a read aloud, but also the TikTok that I did the other day uh, was very well received. Uh, I got a lot of messages. Um, so uh, my daughters taught me another one. So here it is. Enjoy the TikTok. And after the TikTok, I'll go to the read aloud. Okay, everyone. And then you can start your Thursday with your teachers. So here it is. Don't laugh at me too much. I'm trying my best. Baby, come give me something. Oh. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classic. Not too bad. A little embarrassing, but not too bad. I hope you enjoyed the TikTok. It seems like everybody really does. I don't know what I'm going to have to do next to keep everyone entertained, but I'm glad you keep visiting. I'm glad you're enjoying, and I'm so happy to see you guys do all your work in the Google Classroom. So up next, here we have is our Thursday Read Aloud. Hi, everyone. Dr. Galliana here for the Fairmount Read Aloud. Last time I read to you Knuffle Bunny, and everybody seemed to enjoy it. So I think I am going to read Knuffle Bunny 2, part 2, uh, by Mo Willems. Um, and it's just the sequel of the first one. I hope everyone enjoys. Knuffle Bunny 2, The Case of Mistaken Identity. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. If you remember in the first one, she wasn't talking. She was more babbling. And it says, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and, and... Then I'll show Margo, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Tashi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then, and she talked, and she talked. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny someplace special. Come on! Boy, was she in a hurry. She was taking them to somewhere special, which was school. And here you see her going through the holes, finding her class. And there it is. Trixie couldn't wait to show Knuffle Bunny to Mrs. Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Chris, Trixie saw Sonia. Uh-oh, what could happen? <gasps> Look what Sonia has. Can't be one of a kind if Sonia has one too. 
Uh oh. Let's see what happens. Suddenly, Trixie's one of a kind Knuffle Bunny wasn't so one of a kind anymore. Oh, look at Trixie's face, poor thing. The morning did not go well in school. Knuffle! 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 Look at the teacher's face. Oh, God, Miss Greengrove. And the afternoon was even worse. <gasps> Miss Greengrove has their bunnies. When the school bell rang, Mrs. Greengrove returned the Knuffle bunnies to the girls. And the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert, and brushed her teeth. And tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from the planet Snurp. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in and she was ready for sleep. But a few hours later, oh God, she was sleeping. What happens a few hours later? Trixie realizes something. God, what does she realize? Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, That is not my bunny. Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. <laughs> Before he even made it downstairs, ring, the phone rang. We have your bunny said a man's voice on the other end. We have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. And arrangements were made. Looks like they're going right there at 2.30 in the morning. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. Trixie did not want to be late. If you look real close, we could find Trixie. Let's see. Let's see if I can zoom in a little. See her? With her dad in this big city. And look what's happening on the other side. You see Sonia and her dad? And neither did Sonia. And there was an exchange. And, and the Knuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back at the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. The end.
Isn't that a great story of how they uh, got their bunnies back? So uh, that's two Knuffle Bunny stories for you. And have a great Thursday, everyone. See you later.